On today's Daily KHL Update, Round 2. Let's go. All that and more on today's Daily KHL Update. Let the capital battle commence. Dynamo Moscow vs. Red Army. Plenty of stop power. Jakub Petrozalik, Alex Radulov. This should be a good series. Maybe not the biggest name in the series, but Alexei Sopin. On a breakaway. Scores! That blows the roof off the arena. He beats Rostislav Stanya 1-0. Think this crowd is jacked up? Holy smoke that that plays sound loud. That softens force of the playoffs. He's been good. Just over two minutes later, Sergei Sohin to Sergei Konkov. Scores! Get a little louder. It's 2-0 Dynamo Moscow early. Not the greatest defense by CSKA. Kanka worked his way into the slot pretty easily and now they're down by two. It's about to get worse. Alex Radulov trying to clear the zone. Stripped. Konstantin Gorovikov breaks up the play. Reddy's aim shoots. Scores. His first of the playoffs is a beauty. 3-0 Dynamo Moscow and it's still the first. Brutal defense by Red Army. Perhaps Nicholas Persson could have played the puck behind the net, but Alex Radulov is one of the best players in the league and the best on his team. He can't make that turnover. Zanya's night is done. Ilya Praskurikov goes in for Red Army. First period, who saw that coming? Second period, Red Army pressing. Alex Radulov to Nikolai Prohorkin. Shoots! Stopped by Alexander Eryomenko. That actually goes off the defender's stick and off the crossbar. Extremely close call. Very close call. Now it's Dynamo's turn. Looking for more. Konstantin Kazyanchuk shoots. Stopped. Mad scramble for the rebound. And Konstantin Gorovikov is absolutely robbed. Wow, Igor Grigorenko dives to save it, puts the puck off the post, then pushes it out. Great effort all around. Red Army did not look good in this one. Ariamenko made 21 saves for the shutout for Dynamo Moscow and a disastrous first period cost Red Army game one. Three nothing is your final. Round two, game one. SKA and Severstal, no time for an intro, let's go. Right off the bat, Severstal's Denis Kazyanov gets five in a game for boarding Maxim Chudinov. That looks dangerous. To get five in a game in the playoffs, it has to be bad. Ensuing power play, Kevin Dolman to Mikhail Varnikov, scores 1-0 SKA. Such a tricky goal. Everyone was preparing for Dolman to round the net. He had other plans. Near the end of the first, right off the faceoff, bang! Nikita Alexiev ties it up. Now you see it, now you don't. What a shot. 22 seconds later though, Viktor Tikhanov scores! What a game so far, 2-1 SKA. The game busts wide open in the second, buckle up. SKA power play, Dmitry Kalinin shoots and scores to put SKA up 3-1. Watch closely, it was actually Patrick Torsen with the last second tip, nice. Just over a minute later, Bogdan Kisilevich destroys Ivan Napraev at center ice. Wow, how did he even get up from that? And seconds later, puck going the other way. Nicholas Berg forced to Mikhail Anisin scores. Severstal cuts the lead to one. That might have been the hardest hit of the playoffs so far. Oh my goodness, a momentum changer. No kidding, because a minute and a half later, banging away in front, Evgeny Ketov scores to tie the game up at threes. Ivan Kasutin's night is done. Ilya Zhav is in for SKA, but same result. A minute and a half later again, Evgeny Ketov. 4-3 Severstal with their first lead of the game. Kisilevich's hit completely changed the game. SK is topless Kremlin right now and Severstal smells blood. Well, here's a momentum killer. Five and a half minutes later, Tony Mortensen, sharp angle and it's in 4-4. How on earth did Vasily Koshkin of all goalers allow that? What a momentum killer. 4-4 after two, third period, less than 10 minutes left. Viktor Tikhanov doesn't get a good shot on, gathers a rebound around the net, and wow, again? SKA takes the lead, 5-4. Kosichkin has looked completely unbeatable at times this season. He looks fragile right now. About two minutes to go, he's pulled for the extra attacker. It doesn't work though. Maxima Finneganov steals it, takes it down, and that'll do it, 6-4 SKA. It really is amazing how moments change games. Kisilevich hit was a big energy boost. Severslav took the lead, but Koshkin just wasn't good enough at all. Viktor Tikhanov would add another empty netter here to complete his hat trick. That's the game. What a start to a series. SKA wins game one, seven to four. That's all for today's Daily KHL update. I'm Steve Dangle, Glenn with Andrea Sachinka. We'll see you tomorrow.